Hey folks, Mark Rowler here with another software testing update. So, interesting thing that came up today was a question from a chap over at the softwaretestingclub.com uh, about whether his organization should buy an issue tracking system or a you know, defect management slash test management system. And I've heard this question before uh, being posed in an organization I used to work with and we didn't get it right there because there was never any agreement of what should happen and it all fell apart. It fell apart because the issue management system was divorced from the test management system. You know as a tester that you know, defects need to be associated with your test cases so you need a tool that can help you do that. You also know that defects are not just found in the development phase of a project but they're found in the maintenance phase. That is, when the product's gone live, customers find bugs. We know this, it's okay. Hey, the level of bugs, the severity of bugs, that's a different conversation. But the fact that there are two sets of bugs being found is a reality, and those bugs need to come together. Now, what often happens is the maintenance phase bugs get put in support's issue tracking system. Somebody has to pull a report or do some kind of export. You wander back to your desk and go and put them into the test management system so you can associate them off with your uh, your test cases and requirements as I almost said then and so on so to my mind don't get the issue tracking system if it's divorced from your test management system and most test management systems all you need to do is change a drop down you know, menu option that says this is a maintenance phase bug this is a development phase bug and that's it, you've got everything you need. I don't know what else a support team generally, in terms of bugs anyway, want out of a, a, an issue tracking system that isn't in a test management system. The system he was talking about is Test Track Studio. That looks like it's got everything that's needed in there. As a test manager, something that you need to be aware of is the product life cycle. We get taught, you know, we get taught about the software test life cycle, the software development life cycle, but each of those is, you know, underneath hierarchically the product life cycle, and the product life cycle is, you know, it, it's happening when the product's in the maintenance phase. So this idea that you know we finish the software development life cycle at the to the launch phase of the product life cycle and we all wander back to our desks and never see the product again is a fallacy we know that we get dragged into test you know bugs that have been fixed developers get uh, dragged in to fix those issues that have been found and so on so as a test manager you need to be aware of that and you need to know how many bugs are being found you know, in the maintenance phase over time when during the product life cycle will that stop because that's when you really hand off the project. If you've got systems that are divorced from each other, well, you're missing that information straight away. And then you have another problem. You're not able to go back and see how effective your test cases were. Effective test cases find bugs and you know, assure product quality. If bugs are coming back from uh, your customers from the maintenance phase, you need to factor those in review your test cases, your test case design techniques, your test uh, you know, uh, analyst approaches, and make sure that everything that you're doing is assuring product quality, minimizing the risk of bugs going out and so on. If you've got these disparate systems around, it's just not gonna happen. So the message is, don't get an issue tracking system, get a test management system and change some bloody drop down options really that simple that was the interesting one today the other thing I've been working on is more documentation the I'll work out how this camera works yet test project management here's a question who's heard of test project management I'll leave it there leave some messages uh, down below and I'd be interested to know who's heard of that because it's something I've come up with I've always used in, in previous roles, I use it with clients now, and I don't hear anyone else talking about it, so that's good for me. Um, and I'll share this material with you, but I'd like to know what your views are on it first. Have you heard of that idea? That's it. Adios.